Yo, what's going on guys? It's Key and I'm back. So back with uh, Disaster Garage. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna get straight into it. Uh, next episode, uh, where we left off last time, uh, we're just at the phone looking at jobs, and I didn't want to lose out on a job, so I took the Ferrari F50. What a machine! So, let's get in, let's crack on. First things first, let's just get it on the original lift and just see what we're going to be working with. So, the problems are going to be... Suspension feels loose, suspension is rattling and brake problems. Funny enough, nothing's discovered, so... Let's see... How do you do it now about that? Let's see if we can test try it. Test drive it. Wheels are not aligned, the car made out oddly, that's fine. We don't need to worry about that. We're not looking for wheels being not aligned. We're looking for suspension and brake problems, so hopefully this will tell us. So let's just get this one. Oh, 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 oh. That's it, customer's car. Wrote off, looks like we're buying a new front end as well. Ooh, this is fast, this is really, really fast, and then brakes are really short. This will give us some indication on what's what after I've finished putting it in a ditch. Sorry, guys, I'm not really the best driver when it comes to games with a keyboard. Definitely prefer to have a, uh, a steering wheel. <laughs> right. Ooh, that's a good start. That's a really good start. So, out of tie rod. Something else on the steering still not discovered, and something else on brakes still not discovered, but hopefully. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a simple. Silly me. Right, so that side is definitely ruined. Definitely. That bit looks okay. Cool. Um, I think I saw red on this side. Ah, that's where the tie rod is, so... It's going to be a little bit of investigating, I think, to find out what the problem is. So, let's just start off by doing this side, because we know what the problem is on here. So, we've got... It's everything on this side, I believe. So, as I remember before, we're in expert mode, so we get no help whatsoever. We've got to find the bolts and take them out ourselves. And it doesn't, it just makes everything harder. So, yeah, cool. Uh, oh, you can't do examine mode on here, can you? Right, okay. So let's take this tie rod off because we know this tie rod's faulty. And then we're going to have to maybe just take some parts off. I would normally use a test path, but we haven't unlocked that yet. So... But the problem is, even though all this looks okay, it could be a rubber bush. That one looks worn, but that one does as well. To be fair, they all do. I think that's just how they look. And you can't see that one because it's in there, so... This may be more difficult than we thought. Really, really, really did not anticipate this when I started this series. I thought... I thought my skills were quite... A lot better than this, but... Obviously not. So, let's just see if anything stands out straight away. See, 
It all looks okay there as well. See if anything stands. Ooh. Okay. So I'm feeling something about that suspension cap. So let's just separate that because that cap does look really, really worn. So this might end up being an easier video than we thought. Yes. Look at that. Awesome. So let's just make sure that's discovered it. And it has. Oh, hang on. Still something else for the brakes. Okay, so now we need to find another thing with the brakes. Oh, found it. That's definitely, definitely what the problem is. So. Does this open? Oh, okay, that's quite cool. Awesome. Yeah, I think that's going to be a problem. So. Get this unbolted. Just check it is that. It is. Right, let's get the parts ordered. So we need one of each of these. And it was supposed to be a disc, wasn't it? And then we need an outer tie rod. Oh. Out a tie rod, and we need rear. Oh, is it not called that? What's it called? Oh, is it rear shock absorber? Yeah, rear shock absorber cap. And I believe ABS is in here. Uh, it was the module. So let's install the module. Let's get this side all built up and then we shall put the outer tie rod back on on the other side. And then I think that'll be it for this job. It's quite a simple, quite an easy job. Uh, like I said in one of my previous videos, uh, I think that's what I'm going to do to start off with just going to do the more easier the more simple stuff with the odd story mode video story mode episode um, I just feel like if we do some more easier simple stuff we can get that level a bit quicker we can get everything done that little bit quicker and then you know it, it's not just a boring because I mean, oh, hang on a minute, that's me being silly, I've got to install it on here. So I am enjoying doing this, I really do like doing this series actually, but I believe, um, I believe that maybe it could be quicker, shall we say. Sorry, I got a little bit distracted then, so... That's everything I think. Let's just double check. And I think we'll have a look for the next job. So yeah, I think we're going to stick to some smaller jobs. Certainly in this episode. That's... Ah. So I believe... I've messed up. I believe the wheel that I've put here is a different size. I believe they have a different size of front and rear. And I forgot to check. So 235 is there. Okay, so maybe this isn't going to be straightforward. Maybe I am rubbish at this game. I actually thought I were quite good. 245. Okay, so yeah, I was wrong. But it's okay. Simple fix. Very, very simple fix. Nice and easy. Right, so let's jump into the next car. 
because I want to crack on and I want to try and get some progress. So what we got? We've got an Audi R8 for sloppy steering. Repair all running gear faults. Fix and repair running gear faults. Other tasks. So I'm gonna take this because you've got a you've got a bonus. So I believe that might benefit us while this car is in a bad way. Okay. So yeah, I feel like this might benefit us in a in the long run. Having that extra cash. So before I do this, I'm actually gonna sell all these get rid of them right what we got oh okay that was a, <laughs> that was a lot easier than I thought partner discovered oh my Jesus right we're gonna test drive this because Right, okay, so let's do the fluids first and then we should be able to test drive it. So it wants brake, coolant and washer. So last time I emptied this and refilled it but there's not much in it so we're just going to try and refill it and see if it allows us to do so. End of day it does say refill. So we're just going to fill it. Are the others refill as well? Yeah, they just literally refill, so I'm not going to mess about draining the little drops out. I'm literally just going to fill them up. And then we can try and test drive it, because no way am I going to be able to find a fault with this, with how worn it is. Really, I should have brought it in for a full restoration, not just <laughs> his coolant level topping up, because that... This car just looks ruined. Looks like it should be in a junkyard. Not coming into my garage for one part fixing on it. I hope this is going to let me drive it. Cool, so. Let's hope this works. Oh, it's just a little bit. Oh, geez, do you think I can get around without crashing? Let's see if we can get all the way around without crashing into anything. Oh, we've done good this time. I think I'm improving. Small rubber bush. So he's brought it all this way. For a small rubber bush, but the problem is, is remembering which part, which parts have small rubber bushes in them. So that one doesn't actually look that bad. So I'm gonna actually leave that. I know that one's a small bush. What's this side like? I know they're small rubber bushes, I think. Can we not take that off? I'll just down. I thought you could just straight away take that off. Doesn't even let you highlight it. I don't believe that any of the others use small rubber bushes in my to my knowledge I believe all these are normal bushes so let's just do that let's just flick all this off really really quickly because it's fairly straightforward and let's just actually have a look if it's damaged so it tells you somewhere, I think, 
minimum is 35. So if that bush, which it's not, is less than 35. So it's not. So, so didn't need to do that. So how do you take that arm off there? Oh, it just unbolts. Just check that one. So they're okay. So it's not that one. So which one? It's got to be the other side then. It's got to be because... See, I'm not 100% sure because that one looks like it might be a small one as well. God, this expert mode is challenging. Right, let's try this side. Nice and quick. Just let's just get it off. See that one looks okay actually. But we'll check it. Check it anyway. Nope, that one's okay. Oh, I might be better off taking that arm off actually. Well, it was letting me. Yes, and we found it. So, let's order a small rubber bush. Let's get that installed in here. Can't believe it's come all this way. You brought it all this way for coolant, screen wash, brake fluid topping up, and that one bush changing. Can't believe it. Right, so fingers crossed. That's everything that we needed to do. I know it wasn't a big job, but... Yeah, there we go. Cool, so this time, so I'm going to leave that. This time we've got a Lotus Elise for suspension again. We've got a Nissan GTR for find and fix any gear problem, other tasks, which is suspension and the spanner again. Oh, we've got a hot rod quite a few bits any of them gives you a bonus that gives you a bonus credits let's take the Nissan GTR then because we always love a bonus anything extra is worth it cool Change coolant and two parts not discovered. So, train tool. Let's get this coolant out straight away. Let's just uh, change this one. So, if you're just wondering as well, guys, um, I'm not sure which cars it is. I can't fully remember. I can get a list if anyone would like it. Uh, I've got a car mod on at the, at the moment which sets all the in-game vehicles to real life cars so it, it all, all it does is it just changes the names of them so obviously all the DLC cars are already they're already named. Because that's what the DLC is for. They're, they're, they're licensed vehicles by that manufacturer. But the ones that are in the game already that haven't got names, this mod changes them all to have that name. What I'll do is it's, uh, I believe it's a Steam Workshop mod. I'm going to put it down in the description below if you 
do want that mod or if you're interested, you know, you can get it from that link. Oh god. So, it's told us about one rubber bushing and that's it. Which is there at the front. Oh, this could be difficult. Can we unlock a test path yet? No. None of them are going to help either. Oh, this expert mode is killing me. Right, okay. So it's that rubber bush there. Oh, you got to take the wheel off, haven't you? So let's get this rubber bush out. Because we know what the fault is with this one. We, you know, the, the, the game's determined that for us. Um, in regards to the other part. I am not a hundred percent sure. So I'm just gonna quickly build this up. So I'm not too sure which slot it needs to be in. Other way around, I think. I believe you've got to put the part in the right place as well. If you fit a new bush, it's got to be on the side that you took the old one off. So I'm just going to do that to make sure it's right. Cool, so that rubber bush is done and dusted. <laughs> We've got to find this other part now. So the only thing we know is it says running gear. And suspension is ticked. So, it's a couple of rusty bolts, but I need to just see if anything stands out. Can anybody? I can't see anything on this side that stands out. All looks quite nice and clean. Oh, hang on a minute. That steering rack looks a bit. Let's have a look at this. Let's Let's get these wheels off again. I want to have a look at the steering rack because that looks quite bad. Let's have a look. Please be that. Yes. Okay, so so we we we're getting better. We're getting you know we're getting there. We're getting there slowly. Awesome. So, looks like that's another job done. Cool. So, so I think I'm going to call it there, guys. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Please like, subscribe, 
uh, and leave your comments down below if you're enjoying this. Uh, if you want to see any more, you know, do let me know. Any other games, any other series that you want to see, just drop them in the comments down below. I've also now got a Twitter account, so if you go follow my Twitter, you'll see more updates about games that are coming live, when videos are live, and you'll also see behind the scenes of the the rig and the setup and and stuff like that. So yeah, do go follow Twitter as well. I'll leave that link down below. Uh, like, subscribe, turn on that bell notification so you don't miss another game 